Welcome viewers, this is Green Gaia Tarot and this is your free one card pull reading for this Saturday. Thank you very much everyone who participated. We will start the reading with our lucky viewer HLA Solomonov that is Hallie. Thank you Hallie for trusting me with your reading. Let's begin. At first we will see what we have for you in the tarot then we will follow your oracle card hallie your first card is the high priestess okay let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards your card is self-employment okay let's begin Hali, both of your cards are telling me the strength and empowerment that you have in you. You have the knowledge, you have the skills, you have the intuitive advance that you need to pursue anything and everything that comes in your way and there is no stopping you. And at this point of time, self-employment card says you are a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So there will be opportunities coming in. Self-employment is something that you are definitely needed to try. If you are already self-employed, that's great. If not, I'm not telling you give up your job right away and start something no you can definitely try something on your free time and follow that path of passion and make it as an employment option because self-employment is your path and you are someone who's very much able with the skills and planning, management of time and understanding, things are looking good. But there is something that you need to do also. Don't reveal your plans to everyone because a high priestess never does that. She knows that not everyone is there for your well-being some of them are there with their own agendas and they are not quite appreciative of your growth and progress so explore your magical opportunities and definitely follow the path of empowerment knowledge is something that you need to definitely follow at every point of time and trust your intuition so Hallie that was your reading thanks again for trusting me with your reading if you like my reading please continue supporting my channel thank you very much have a great day our next lucky viewer is Ashwini Shetty thank you Ashwini for trusting me with your reading let's see what we have for you in the cards Okay, your card is Chariot, the Major Arcana. Let's see what we have for you in the Oracle cards. Simplify your life and protection. Okay. With the Chariot card, Ashwini, life is going to be speeding up. You are moving forward towards success and advancement is definitely something that you must not resist. But don't forget to have the right balance in your life. As you can see in the chariot, there is the dark horse and the white horse. And definitely they are representing the yin and yang energy and the balance is very much needed. If you are not balanced when life is definitely on a very high speed situation, things will stumble. So you must be careful 
you need proper rest rejuvenation and don't try to cut corner or resist this path of your advancement because this is something for your growth and this is going to bring in a lot of success and opportunities your very next card is simplify your life eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities told you already balance is needed you need to let go of old and worn out situations and things from your life from your work situations and workplace and home whatever that is not important or relevant anymore in your life let them go your very next and final card is protection you your loved ones and your positions are safe and protected by heaven so you are blessed with protection you don't need to worry you your loved ones and your prized positions are definitely safe at this point of time so ashwini this was your free one card pull reading if you like my reading please continue supporting my channel thank you very much for letting me do your reading have a great day our next lucky viewer is pulkit jain Thank you, Pulkit, for trusting me with your reading. Let's see what we have for you in the tarot. Okay, your first card is Nine of Cups. Let's see what we have for you in the Oracle cards. Okay, one more. Okay. Pulkit, your first card is Nine of Cups. This is the card that tells that you are either already or it is going to happen. You will see that a wonderful wish fulfillment is ahead of you. It is coming. You have waited for a while now. This is something that is going to bring in a lot of abundance, prosperity, growth. There will be celebrations with your family, friends, some kind of wonderful gathering. That can be an office gathering or a family gathering. Whatever it is, people will recognize you, honor you, appreciate your accomplishment for sure. The very next card is Father Healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. So if there is anything that is still bothering you or lingering in your energy, related to your father or a father figure you need to let that matter to heaven's hand at this point of time so that you can feel relax and move forward you have already invested enough energy in this matter and it is something that is not in your hand anymore Heaven can help you resolve this situation in time. So you need to trust the divine. Your very next card is pay attention. Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. So if there is any kind of situation that is repeating in your life or a pattern of people or situation happening in your life over and over again you need to concentrate and focus on the reason or the lessons from it because you are missing out on some kind of information or some kind of guidance or a knowledge of some sort that's why it this reputation or these patterns are happening over and over again in your life whatever it is it is a learning process it is a information that you need to understand and notice and you are not being able to do so so far you need to enhance your focus on the reputations and identify 
the information, the knowledge, the pattern that is going on and what you need to gather from it. So Pulkit, thanks again for trusting me with your reading. If you like my reading, please continue supporting my channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Our next lucky viewer is Sherry Amoris. Thank you very much, Sherry, for trusting me with your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Okay, you've got seven of swords. And why is that? Then you have five of wands. My goodness. Okay, one more. King of coins. Okay. Let's see what we have for you in the Oracle cards. Okay. And we have a lot of cards for you. Sherry, your first card is Seven of Swords. The card we never like to see. Okay. This is the card that tells about the sabotage energy. This can be you. This can be someone else. Whoever it is, it is the energy that tells that it is not healthy for you. With the Seven of Swords, if the sabotage is from outside, you need to be careful because there are people who are not there for your best interest. If this is you who is indulging in some sort of lack mentality, please let that go. You deserve the best. The very next card is the Five of Wands. This is the card of conflict. This is the card that again shows that the conflict is there. This can be a conflict with people outside or this can be an inner conflict. The inner conflict is you dwelling upon what you deserve and what you don't or dwelling on the limitation that you put on yourself. The outer conflicts can definitely be with other people who are not being very nice or appreciative of your healthy boundaries that are very much needed at this point of time because the next card is the king of coins this is the card that tells about financial growth stability prosperity and grounded energy so if this is you the people who are not happy with you they are probably not happy because of something that is related to financial situations if not you can definitely overcome those energies, the sabotage, the conflict and become this king of coins. For that, all you need is a balanced energy and a calm mind. The next card is Father Healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. So if there is something related to your father or a father figure that is bothering you at this point of time, it's time for you to release that and trust the divine to help you with the situation. If your mind is very much troubled, having a walk in the nature or praying, meditating will help you out for sure. The final card is the empowerment. You are more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. So you have the strength, you have the ability to handle any and every challenge that comes in your way. You are beyond powerful beyond your imagination or realization. And it is safe for you to be so. So don't doubt your situation. Don't doubt the process. If the time is a bit difficult, trust the divine that you will overcome all of the challenges. So, Sherry, this was your free one card pool reading. If you like my reading, please continue supporting my channel. Thanks again for trusting me with your reading. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Our next lucky viewer is Neha. 
Neha, thank you very much for trusting me with your reading. Let's see what we have for you. The Hierophant is here. I'm going to have one more for you. The High Priestess. Okay, both major arcanas and both of them very powerful and strong cards. Let's see what we have for you in the Oracle cards. A New Dawn. Okay. So, Neha, with the Hierophant and the High Priestess, you have everything under control or better say you are blessed with all the opportunities the knowledge the training the advancement that you need that you seek it's here don't doubt your path don't have a single drop of doubt about your abilities teaching learning training growing following the path of knowledge following your intuition is something that is going to bring in a lot of growth at this point of time i can clearly see with the hierophant and the high priestess knowledge is something that is definitely a very valuable and important part at this point of time in your life and for you the knowledge is definitely becoming the wisdom. You are growing into your higher self. And that is clearly showing in the cards. The final card is a new dawn. The worst is now behind you. And positive new experiences are on the horizon. So Neha, you got the message. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. Things are clearing up. The new dawn is coming in. Neha, this was your free reading for this week. Thank you very much for trusting me with your reading and supporting my channel. If you like my channel, like my reading, please continue supporting my channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Our next lucky viewer is Jessica Afonso. Jessica, thank you very much for trusting me with your reading and continue supporting my channel. I appreciate your support. Let's see what we have for you in the cards. Your first card is Four of Swords. I'm going to go one more with you. Ten of Wands. Okay, Jessica. What are you doing? You are working too much. Let's see. Waves of prosperity. So Jessica, please take a nap. Have some rest. With the four of swords and the ten of wands, I can see you are breaking your back. You have been draining your energies and taking no time off there is a lot of things that you are doing handling and you need to take a breather so have some rest if you need definitely have some spiritual time praying meditating is always recommended try to outsource some of your work pressure if possible if possible have some friends and family help you if not take one by one not everything at the same time because i am feeling so much anxious at this point of time reading your cards so relax your final card is waves of sorry waves of prosperity New abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. Let me read this again for you. Waves of prosperity, new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So abundance, prosperity definitely coming in. 
trust your hard work whatever you were working hard it is definitely going to bear fruits don't doubt don't worry relax i'm feeling tired i'm feeling tired for you take some time off you need to relax so jessica this was your free reading if you like my reading please continue supporting my channel thank you very much again for trusting me with your reading have a great day our next lucky viewer is prachi priya thank you prachi for trusting me with your reading let's see what the cards holds for you you have 9 of wands i'm going to take one more 3 of coins okay let's see prachi you are kind of obsessing over guarding yourself you are imprisoning your own growth you are coming in the path of your own movement forward if something happened that is disappointment in the past learn from it but don't stop just stopping and staying on the same place won't help you be safe yes healthy boundaries are needed but that doesn't mean you put ho- put on hold everything no have the healthy boundaries and keep going keep going you need to get out you need to move forward because the very next card is the 3 of coins and this is the card that tells you are building up a wonderful future there might be a partnership or collaboration happening and you are creating the beautiful future as soon as you are unstucking your mind unblocking your situation you are moving forward towards creating a beautiful future and it is very much needed let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards let's see one more yes see your first card is you are being helped heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results yet so help is there heaven is definitely helping you there are things that take times don't be anxious don't be disappointed don't indulge in negativity be optimistic trust the divine move forward your final card is simplify your life eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities you need to find the right balance let go of old and worn out situations emotions whatever it is that is keeping you heavy keeping you stuck let that go clear the space to welcome the new so prachi this was your free reading if you like my reading Please continue supporting my channel. Thank you very much for trusting me with your reading. Have a great day. So viewers, this was your free one card pull reading for this Saturday. If you like my reading, please continue supporting my channel and keep participating on the free readings that I am doing on every Saturday. Thank you very much everyone for participating. Thank you very much everyone for trusting me with your readings. Have a great day. Thank you.